somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. Over there's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are checking out Arcane. This one is a show that we've really been loving. We're on episode seven. This one's called The Boy Savior. Now, the last episode, man, it got pretty crazy. We had uh, the sisters eventually meet, and uh, this whole series has been blowing my mind. I cannot wait to dive into it. Yeah, we saw Jinx actually uh, likes violence now, much to the chagrin of her sister, or so we can kind of guess by her reaction. So I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see where we're going from here. I just want more action. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to get really sucked into this. Want to see where things Start, are we're at episode seven. Start, I mean, okay, I have been, but I'm like, yeah, things are getting a little tense, a lot tense. Hey, they all said it. Let's go! <laughs> I'm not the one who walked us into not one, but two of Silco's traps. This isn't Silco. It's someone else. How do you know? Because we'd already be dead. Oh, very nice. When were you planning to tell me that your lunatic sister works for him? <laughs> what the hell you're really doing down here? I told you the truth. Bullshit. What was that glowing stone? That's what I thought. I like how they keep bouncing back between the two masks mm -hmm. for the yeah. perspective. Stop. Get your hands off of me. Leave her alone. Let me go. Bye. God, that's like high anxiety when they give you that view through the mask. Yeah. Like, ugh. This is brilliant. Oh, the. F oh, what's this that? dude? That's a. I thought Bat Boy was only in the National Enquirer. Yeah. <laughs> he lives. You shy or just ugly? <laughs> oh, Jesus. You look good for a dead girl. Wasn't that um the the kid that was giving them the info when they were when they were younger, running around stealing trinkets? Oh, Wasn't that him? Oh yeah. What were you doing with Jinx? Her name is Powder, and I just found her when you and your goons showed up. It's me, Vi. Same person who used to take you down to the junk heap and hose you down when you got covered in grease. That was a long time ago. People change. Are you working for Silco? <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so you just come out swinging? Gee, I wonder who I learned that from. Oh, well, you yeah. should have learned more. You still punch like a little boy. And you still block with your face. <laughs> 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 Missed you, little man. Wait, what? <laughs> she picked the lock. How long have you had those off? Yeah. How long have you been whining? <laughs> oh, oh, right. oh tear. I would very much like to see the device. It's the uh, X core. That may be difficult to arrange. <laughs> Gosh, can Victor trust this dude though? It should provide everything one needs to survive a violent transition. Will it work on plans? Uh. You won't hear about the plan. <laughs> I would doubt that. Love and legacy are the sacrifices we make for progress. It's why I parted ways with Heimendinger. Wait, what? Parted ways with Heimendinger? Okay. It makes sense. Perhaps. Man, they were just passing that stuff all around. Oh, sh he's shirtless, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all uh, working with fire and heavy <laughs> equipment. Oh. This is a scene straight out of a Van Damme movie. Look, Look at those that obliques. doing the lat pull downs. <laughs> those obliques just shining. <laughs> just need some hearts on fire. <laughs> he was my mentor, Mel. And I betrayed him. Everything you said about him was true. My family cast me out, and yet part of me still loves them. Heimerdinger will understand eventually. Look at that jawline. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> Couldn't have drawn it any better. I'll store the council, but they'll soon need their leader. In the meantime, try not to lose your nuts. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's been doing all this science stuff. I haven't seen him lift one weight in this whole series, and he's going to come out just jacked. Yeah. He was just doing was some tricep pushdowns. Where are you going? I need to find Jinx. Sir. What? I've had more in common with cave lice than Jinx. 
Let's just say I didn't always see eye to eye with my old man. And? She'll come to you when she's ready. Oh, I like uh, that. Heck? She was there for me, not the enforcer. But why would I remember her name? Oh. oh. Well, she's just some stupid topsider. Ooh. You uh. Caitlin. <laughs> oh. Oh. She's going crazy again. <clears throat> Might want to clean that up too, though. I get a bad vibe that she's gonna drink that purple yeah. stuff. What is it called? Shimmer. 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 He didn't care what it did to people. Everyone here was an addict or a victim. They needed somewhere sure. safe to start again. I should have been there. I don't think he's uh I could have did a hell of a job. If I just went with you that day, maybe none of this would have happened. Or maybe you'd be dead. Or changed. Powder's gone by. All that's left is Jinx, and she belongs to. You're Silver. wrong. She's still in there. I can reach her. You can't. Yeah, but she's got to try. Yeah. I got one more thing to show you. What's he gonna have? Awesome younger photos. Oh, look at oh the mural. gang. Whole mural. This is everyone we've lost. Oh, and she's on there. Most was Silco. Your sister works for him not because she has to, but because she wants to. I'm sorry, but that's who she is now. Well, that's right. Marcus had this set up. Yep. Can we get Oof. Victor healthy? I think he's going to do it himself. You ordered this? Why? There are people down there who seem hell-bent on destroying us. What were you doing? I was consulting a friend about our quandary. I told you I knew someone. But you didn't say they were from the Undercity. What difference does that make? What diff- They're dangerous. I'm from the Undercity. You're right. Oh. Hmm. I've had a lot on my plate. Was your friend able to help? No. No, he said nature was resistant to this sort of tampering. All right, we'll keep at it. That's not the way I remember it going down. Well, he has it hidden, I think, in that handle. Yeah. Right? First, this wild attack in the harder built over. Now the border is closing. Look what the these heck? These guys. His dreams of rebellion. He's losing control. Look at that grill. If we stand together. It's his jaw. This is crazy. Oh, Ever since you're stunned, topside, profits have been plummeting. He's right. Merchandise is frozen at the border. Topsiders are too afraid to crawl. <laughs> it looks like Bane from Batman and Robin. <laughs> Where I see it, we should cut a deal and give back the gemstone. Better to have some trade than none at all. The border issue is temporary. Jinx will deal with it. Ha! <laughs> Rumor is, you dogs are for leash. How are you meant to bring Piltover to heal if you can't handle your own people? I was gonna say, I saw the fans stop. Mm hmm. But you've grown fat and complacent. <laughs> Too much time in the sun. We came from a world where there was never enough to go around. That is why we fight. Do you remember? It doesn't even affect him. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, okay. I was going to say that was a tease. Yeah. Don't forget again. Good meeting. <laughs> All right. Nice little reminder of who's in charge. Well, that was a little aggressive. Holy Jesus. Piltover looks vulnerable. It's too soon. Jace isn't ready. There's one other thing. This arrived for you. Is that her family's symbol? OK. 
Okay. <sighs> Wrong thing to do. Vi tells me I can trust you. You get a pass back topside. That's it. Let's go. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> Out of nowhere. And guess what? They're not all dead. I can explain. Oh, oh. whoops. Marcus never told me she was in still water. <laughs> she came back. You lied. I, I wanted to protect you. From what? She and the Enforcer are back for the crystal. Not for you. Oh. I am your family. Everyone else betrays us. I need you now more than ever. Oh, just messing with her. You have to complete the weapon. You know it's animated. That's still a wild way to take that. Uh. Is he did, did I miss something from previous episodes? Does he keep shimmer in his eye? Because that's what it looked like. Um, yeah, he, he's been doing that. Okay, I thought so. You got a plan? I have a friend on the council. Let me take the gemstone to him. He'll listen to me. Your people wouldn't have to hide anymore. One condition. I'm the one who gives it to them. I figured that's what... Hey, he wasn't going to just let you just yeah. take it willy-nilly. Uh, but I'm nervous. Engineering is inspired. You think they could crack Hextech? It's a leap. It's been suggested that they may have found a way to utilize the gemstone. If we are to assume the worst, that would mean they've turned it into a weapon. Oof. Well, do we know this for certain? I love all three of them are just to wait to sitting find around it. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you suggesting? Easy. We should prepare our own countermeasures. That's what they want Jace to do. Weapons? Absolutely not. That's what it was from the start. We would shatter any attempt at peace. Heimerdinger would never go Heimerdinger's for Heimerdinger's an action is what brought us here. You said so yourself. <sighs> peace is already broken, Jace. I'm only asking you to prepare to defend your people. You're a pawn in her chess game. The decision is yours. How many times have we seen if this got into the wrong hands and the people who have it are the wrong hands we have the knowledge to defend ourselves we agreed hextech was to improve lives not not to take them we may not have a choice oh it's getting a little uh oh, oh. they figured oh. it out <laughs> Just in the nick of time. That is always a choice. I was going to say cut the green wire, but it didn't look like there was any green wire. I need to think. Better take off your shirt and do some heavy machinery work while you're thinking. Of. <laughs> I, I think better when I'm doing push-ups. Shirtless. Hey, some do. <laughs> oh. Is he going to do it? Well, we've seen a purple haze. It. Yeah. Don't do it, Victor. What did he just find? What's all of they? We call them firelights. Never seen so many, though. Oh, so, so that's probably an issue. I'm worried I have to do something I never thought I would. Oh, oh it's, it's a, a picture, picture of he, him. He drew as a kid. Yeah. Hey, hey, I was wondering who was on the little boat. Yeah. Don't. I I want to see what's going to happen. <laughs> well, well, you're about to. <laughs> yeah. Is it going to work with the hex tech? It's working. Oh no! Look at that. It's mutating his cells. What is going to happen to him? Oh, what oh. just happened? <sighs> Bro's going to come back without his leg brace or his crutch. Who knows what he's going to be? I think we've seen this one before with our old friend Steve Rogers. <laughs> oh, I thought maybe with our old friend Forrest Gump getting rid of the knee brace. <laughs> Jeez. 
Run, Forrest. Don't get yourself killed. No promises. Foreboding. Oh. It's been real, Cupcake. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Whoa, hey. Oh. Oh, that's going to do it. Shut up. Well, you remember it's that just look. Just a goodbye hug. She wouldn't do that. Not again. You remember that look that Caitlyn gave her before? Yeah, we kind of thought. Wow, well, well, that one right there. Oh, this isn't like one of those TV show last time goodbye teased mm -hmm. kind of things. You know what I mean? Before something bad happens. Yeah, that's kind of what it felt like. Halt! Oh shit! What the hell is this? Oh no, Echo! I have proof. Silco's behind everything. He knows. Oh yeah, sadly he's yeah he's on the take. Marcus is the one. Mm -hmm. Oh no! What the hell? That's not how hey. it was supposed to work out. It looked like it hit what? the box it hit though, the not metal. Echo. It hit the it hit the metal. Right? I didn't. I thought it ricocheted off, but liar. What? How did you get a liar out of that? I told you to leave this alone. Oh. See, you all said... The, all the fire lights are coming, too. Oh, well, what is this? They're going to help out Caitlyn. Oh! oh! What just happened? Oh, that was uh, Jinx's handiwork. Oh, that's a lot right there. Did we really lose Echo? No. Bulletproof uh, vest. Okay, that's what I thought. It's like uh, <laughs> like Marty McFly in Back yeah. to the Future it's Part 3. Pretty. After he was watching Clint Eastwood do it. You know what? It's Marty. Is Marcus done? Nah, he'll be hanging on, I think. I was going to say, if, if he's gone, then Caitlin should be. Mm -hmm. Oh, now he is. I don't know. That wasn't Marcus. No, I think it was just a soldier. Yeah, random enforcer. Oh, my daughter. Oh, he's gone. Oh, oh he is. Wow. It's weird because Caitlin was close to. <laughs> yeah. I'll roll with it. Well, it was right on. His piece. Yeah. Which was like a foot away from her face. His, his face. Well, both of them, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Jesus. What the hell? There's that guy. All right, he is back. Nice. Whoa, what's he, the Green Goblin over here? Look at this. <laughs> oh, Ooh. connected. Oh, look who it is. The boy savior. What is about to happen? It's be a major uh, battle here. Oh, wild. Well, this is interesting. So they used to do this when they were kids, obviously. This is so fucking cool like visually and the way they have this mixed with the music mm -hmm. this is insane oh, oh here, here we go back to it well wow, that was wild whoa is he gonna connect again oh oh that got him yeah he sees Sees power. Oh, is it gonna? It's gonna be his gonna undoing. Him. 
Both? Both of them? No. It... No. I don't see a way no out of this. No way. No way. Guys, we just lost them both. That's it? God, Come you on. gotta be kidding me. That is not... I've, I think that's cool. it. I think we lost no, Outer and Echo. There's no way we lost. Nah. They had a hand grenade right next to them. It was a different. You see how it didn't explode normal? It exploded like you think purple it was like a flashbang or something? Yeah. Well, oh, we maybe. hope it was a flashbang. Because oh, if it would have been an explosive, I mean, okay, and she <laughs> had it laying next to her hand... Think it the math, you think it would have blown well, apart? It's Jinx, so yes. keep in mind that Jinx probably, why not? Up the yeah. ante on it. Who knows what she was thinking? Not exactly in her best state, but <sighs> guys, so much again, so much <laughs> happened in this episode. For as short as it is, it, it literally feels like you're snapping your fingers and it's over. You know, we see Jace essentially being used as a pawn. We got Victor doing. We didn't even get a, a a finish to that to see how that played out with him injecting the well, shimmer and then going after next the hex tech. <laughs> so hopefully we get an answer right away on that one. Um, Silco, I don't even think if Powder is indeed still alive, I question how much Silco <laughs> thinks that he can trust her uh, if she indeed did make it and that was a flashbang like Oak was perhaps speculating. But so much going on in this episode, like there's got to be four or five storylines going on at once in a such a relatively short uh, episodic show. It's just incredible to, incredible to me. And I'm not, I haven't even got to how good the animation and the artwork has been, yeah, especially cool. in this episode badass. with that little flash between Echo and Powder. Just incredible. I, I can't say enough good stuff about this show. And it, there's so many different... We lost Marcus. Marcus is well, gone. The guy who was supposed to keep the peace between everybody. And he was on yeah, the, on the was, take with he, Silco. He was starting to really falter, though. Dirty, yeah. Well, no, he was dirty, absolutely. But that's who the council looked to to keep the the peace, so to yeah. speak, between the two places. And, and we did see that Echo made an amazing, uh, was able to kind of carve out an amazing little uh, living space for everybody there mm -hmm. in his community. Real tree. You know, but we'll see how everything plays out here. I mean, I, I'm ready to see what the shimmer does to Victor. You know, obviously he went was, back yeah. to his old stomping grounds and the guy was saying, oh, you can't, yeah, you can't, <laughs> you can't really, you know, what, what nature wants, nature gets. Yeah. And then he had... Just with Marcus being off, to, I mean, like I said, he was he was on the take, and now we don't know what happened between Echo and Jinx. So, and now you're wondering where Vi and Caitlin are going, I, and then you're wondering what decision he's going to make. Is he going to make the make the hexagon for for uh, for peace, or is he going to use it for you know to spread violence, which yeah, is one make, thing he didn't want to do. Yeah. And he said, they're scientists. Like Victor said, we're scientists. We're not soldiers. Incredibly jacked scientists. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. He was you know, <laughs> doing some good work out there. Oak finally got a shirtless scene with him and that saw the, and working out. So this, like, and the big reveal of Echo, who we hadn't seen since he was a little kid, but yeah. he's really carved out his niche in the underworld. And uh, what is the name of their group called again? I thought it was the Misfits, but we I could, could, be, we could wrong. be wrong, but could be really just wrong like how yeah, they had a real tree, and it was the first time they saw it in how long. Yeah. And we're hoping Jinx was going to come back to the good side, and then she got swerved back by. Oh, it, it's so far, I've just been yeah. so happy with this. I, I can't wait for mm. the next episode. Yeah, so let's just get something clear. Uh, sh Jinx is down, rolls out of her hand. We see a purple cloud of smoke, and then they. Uh, they pan back. Well, it's animation, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. They show us her again, and she's laying there clearly in one piece. Doesn't look like she has any significant damage whatsoever. If it was some sort of explosive, that wouldn't have happened. Now, whether it was a smoke bomb that or a happen with flash Marcus. bang or something else. Yeah, but those were different. Those were the fireflies. Yeah, I get that, but he looked, you know, pretty much okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you never know what the G-force what it does the internal. Well, when That's she true. used those before, 
it was something more significant. All I'm saying is let's just not jump to any conclusions <laughs> about whether we lost. Firelight. Firelights. Yeah. We're, look, we it's a firelight leader. I just don't think uh, we're going to lose Jinx and Echo, right? Like, no. It, it's just, you know, no. 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 No, no. I know what I saw. No. I know what I saw. <laughs> it is what it is. They well, are who we thought they well, were. If they, if he's uh, well, then, uh, you know, Echo. You know, we lost Marcus. Um, that was interesting. You know, here's a guy who's, you know, trying to balance, you know, uh, originally kind of doing the right thing. And then, you know, he's on the kind payroll. Of, and, the you know, um, it's interesting to see Jace and, and Victor kind of going back and forth on, I'm just a scientist, damn it, you know. <laughs> Because how many other movies, TV shows, stories, and in real life have we seen, you know, scientists who can create something incredibly powerful and we worry whether it falls into the wrong hands? And really, who knows who the right hands are until after things have had a chance to play out. So it's very interesting. I'm with the answer. I am very curious to see what happens with Victor now. He injected the shimmer into his bum leg um <laughs> the 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 floating hex thing sucked his blood out we saw a close-up of what appeared to be some gemstone. Uh, the gemstone what appeared to be some sort of molecular cellular changes, changes or transformation I think they very purposefully oh. <laughs> did not show us what happened to Victor. Now, again, my early prediction is is he's gonna uh, he's gonna come walking back, all jacked up, looking good. Doesn't need the leg brace, doesn't need the crutch, and of course, Jace is going to he's gonna what, what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? And uh, yeah, I don't know. There's there's so much going on in this episode. Well, well, remember all those Indian inner city kids that are down below they were all at one point addicted to shimmer and yeah, so they yeah. they had to get off the sauce well, yeah. hopefully victor can you know manage things but, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 as, as as mason Cycle quinn had Cycle said <laughs> like these these episodes just bing 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 they're so action-packed they suck you in so much that they just feel like they're over in two seconds which speaks volumes to just how uh, impelling this or you know impelling impelling <laughs> Compelling. Compelling, compelling and impactful. Impactful, impactful. You, compelling. You correcting me. Impelling. Yeah. <laughs> it's an impelling story. We're just making up words here. Uh, yeah, you know, with Victor, that story kind of, <laughs> it really does intrigue me more because of the way his body is right now. Mm. I'm a little worried that, you know, you're going from, uh, you know, just fighting for life to uh, over extreme with the shimmer yeah he's on borrowed time yeah so i don't know when the come down is if it is that's one thing you know you guys know the answer but the one thing that <laughs> i'm thinking about is like when he comes on the down of the shimmer well are we he's, talking like minimal life bar yeah, now because yeah, he's gonna need more he's now gonna need more to survive mm -hmm. unless this is his plan it will as a scientist I understand that you know you need to push boundaries to get some answers. That's clearly what he's doing here too. I'm sure there's a little bit more motivation uh, on a personal side as well. Uh, with uh, the end there, I, I mean, I'm given. Uh, I, I have a slight hope that both are still alive because it makes no sense to me how. Uh, of course, it's plot armor in my eyes. Two but episode, uh, two episodes left in the season. Caitlin basically came away scot free, and Marcus ended up, you know, biting the dust. It, to me, we're talking about one foot versus like a foot and a half, maybe two feet because of the arm. Either way, well, way could have been the angle of the camera, well, Dave. You know, <laughs> maybe those butterflies work like a claymore, where they only push the energy out which way their wings are facing yeah, either way i mean of course if there's something that i'm missing here with those uh firelights or fireflies whatever they're called let me know educate me a little bit because to me probably both should have been done not just one dunsies <laughs> but for the story purpose let's keep it rolling yep. uh otherwise yeah you guys nailed it on the head with jace uh kind of kind of feel bad for him a little bit because he's in a Never thought he'd get there, but I still question the motives of, uh, I forget her name. What's her name? Of his lady? Oh, of his lady. Yeah. Caitlin. No, no, Jace's no. lady. Jace's oh, lady. Yeah. Apologies for seven episodes in. I should know this, but <laughs> I feel like uh, she has some, she's been working oh, him she, since day one, but they've done a really good job of is she like or a isn't very she? slow yeah. burn, mm -hmm. but yep. still making you question without seeing like real answers. 
because right now in my head it's 50 50 i wouldn't be surprised if you know it was all meant well mm. or hey yeah i had this ulterior motive but i still yep. am in love with you kind of thing well because he leaned I, in for a great. kiss and she uh said oh hold on to your nuts well yeah, oh, that's not so... well they they've showed them in other yeah being playful yeah, yeah that's well, playful is probably a good word for that but that otherwise before she started manipulating him too much though. yeah well but how much is she though because she just kind of put the idea out there and jace gravitated towards it so mm. it isn't like she's completely manipulating him i don't think no i think she's offering an option and leading he's, in uh, him. and he's leading into it uh and then dave you brought up with victor and and the uh the shimmer you know since we saw that very distinct shot of the hex tech bonding with his blood cells maybe he's not going to need shimmer maybe the shimmer just made him strong enough to accept the hex tech yeah. and maybe he's well, set he, for good now maybe he doesn't need that's it. true and that's good point. for the cube yeah because yeah. said the shimmer could that was one thing that the, the guy that was down there said is the shimmer might make it possible um for the transition to happen yeah. so who knows whether he needs oh, a point. i just wonder what he's gonna look like <laughs> he's gonna be <laughs> i imagine i mean that was a big vial right so i gotta imagine he's gonna be like Oak was saying just jacked Kind of, I just hope all of his wits are there because we've yeah. seen it turn oh, yeah. into a zombie bane essentially. On the, yeah, but with Vance, you know, Vander, you know, yep. we, we saw the magic early on work with Jace uh, when he was found out in like that Arctic type setting and he was saved by the magic and it didn't, you know, turn him yeah, into when like he was a kid. Some, some freakish thing. It just kind of brought him back. So I wonder was, yeah, maybe it'll do the same thing with Victor. Though, not the, not any of the That's shimmer. That's true with the shimmer. So. Yeah, I just. Yes, we'll and that's see. why he drew the picture. But how about the opening rap sequence and the animation and the right before the fight of Echo and Jinx? Amazing. I wanted to make sure we got Did that. Did that get there. you? Uh, for me, it gave me Into the Spider-Verse vibes 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was great. Not oh, yeah. saying, you know, bad thing about Don't it. Compare, it's compare, great. Too, but, yeah, it was yeah. it was awesome. Mm -hmm. I that thought was we'd very well done. Of course. They keep surprising they, us they with every episode. They, they tease me. I thought maybe we got a new, uh, no. new intro. <laughs> no, because like, 86 to Imagine Dragons. No, because no, no, like dare. Diamond Dave said, the fans said that the, they have a music video that ties the whole season one together. So maybe we'll have to. Well, however they worded it. But. Something like that. So another great episode. Another quick 40 minutes for us. Because holy mackerel, so that's fast. how fast they go. So for Diamond Dave, Damone, Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. And I'm, of course, the answer. We'll catch you. <laughs> On the next one, pals. What the heck is this? Oh, is this like a, it's like a the, flash forward and then we go flash back? Is this their their big like meeting room that they have where they all sit around the table? That's what it feels like, isn't it? We'll say what the Your grandfather brought me to the aftermath of the Battle of Hildenar. He offered me a gold coin for every blade I retrieved from the forum. Said we needed the steel, but I knew it was a lie. He wanted me to know death. Kino says war is a failure of statecraft. Your brother thinks he can talk his way out of anything. Oh, younger her. Mark me, child. If you want to last in this world. Look at the delts. Someone's ripped. <laughs> you'd give me a throne. I will give you the world, child. If you prove you can take it. So that's where her motivation came. Oh from. no. What's this? Is this like one of the like She won't make trouble for us. Strip her of her possessions and send her to the far colonies. Okay, not as cold as I thought. <laughs> kill her now. Only one must die. Let her live and you may need to kill thousands. We can show the people we are merciful. Are they gonna do it in public? <laughs> Oh no! Nope. Oh, thud! Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay, so this is a continuation. Jinx. Is it one hundred percent? We lost Echo. It looks like it. Oh, did we 100% lose I, Jinx? I, that's what I was thinking in the last episode when that stuff went off. I thought it was... Oh, wow. No, there's no way we lost Jinx. No way. Whoa, yes way. Oh, oh they oh, did. They did, but maybe they're going to use that. No way. Oh, come on. I was... 
I know we were all kind of conflicted at the, the yeah. end of the last one. But See, if I think if she was, don't you think the sister would react different if she knew she was oh. gone? So? That's not what Jace wanted. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Yep. That's about right. It's, it's easier to make the rules from on the throne than it is to come and see it. Oh, that's what triggered that memory. Mm -hmm. Oh, she thinks it's time to make an example out of somebody. Well, it didn't trigger it because obviously she had it before, yeah. but... <clears throat> Who lives here? Another counselor friend of yours? Oh. <laughs> 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 we were so worried. Thank goodness you're safe. And you found a stray. She's from the Undercity. So I see. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. You know what else reflects on the council? It's citizens living on the streets, being poisoned, having to choose between a kingpin who wants to exploit uh, them in a government that doesn't give a shit. Oh. Where's the lie? I'll schedule an audience. Schedule. 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 <laughs> schedule. <laughs> I'd suggest you prepare accordingly. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. This has to that's, be back that's to Victor. The, yeah. Isn't that the old dude, though? Yeah. But it has. we should be able to see Victor here. Yep. I assume Give he's me. going back there. God, look at him. <gasps> yep. Oh, they are going to do it. And before I begin, I must know. Are you there to lose her? Can we just let her heal naturally? You won't die, Doctor. She can't. I understand. Yeah, so let's just use the giant needle with the glowing green stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, we gave it to him! Well, to calm him down, probably, so he can do what he has to do. Who knows what kind of stuff she's going to get injected with. Maybe so she doesn't shimmer. see either. Maybe so, he, maybe so he doesn't see exactly what he does okay. through the process, so it that way he be. can't steal it, yeah. too. The Undercity is devolving to chaos, and somehow I get the feeling he isn't up there balancing book sheets. <laughs> Things get so whim. Suddenly his spine's made of jelly. And here you are, shoveling his shit. Oof. You aren't the only one dissatisfied with his performance. There's bigger fish than Zilko. Look at the attention to detail with the the left shoulder with that just whimming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little gear is spinning. Pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, oh no! <laughs> they went to her mom. Uh. Well, hello. You didn't have to come out to meet me. What are you doing here, mother? Can I not visit? I've heard stories of Piltover's hospitality. She's <laughs> still ripped as hell. It's been over a decade, Mel, since you banished me. Oh. I sent you here to oversee our family's interests. You said perhaps your sentimentality will be more at home with those soft spined idealists overseas. Oh. You have your father's memory. Oh, she is jacked. <laughs> Throw you into the ocean. Your brother's Just... gone. <laughs> oh, lost. Oh, okay. by the way. He crossed the wrong man. I was distracted. That's a mistake I can't take back. Your Jace Talus has turned his eye to Hextech weaponry. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's what she's after. I'm here to help guide you to the right decisions. Guide. Miss <laughs> Medarda. <laughs> is this guy just guy rolling in? Of course. I'm off to sample the local cuisine. <laughs> Sample. Uh, Jeez, ma. <laughs> Come on, what was that? Wow. What happened to her? It's not your fault. Me and Powder used to share a bed like this. Except maybe half the size. We pretended to be bigger and bigger monsters. I'd get carried away and she'd get scared. I didn't want her to start crying and wake my parents up, so I pretended to chase my own monsters away. <laughs> What did he okay. do to her? Oh, oh no. that's a lot that's of shimmer. Double dosage. Stronger than you think. Good. She's having those memories play. The good, good. the good memories. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, that's, that's not, not good. Not, oh, that's she, not she good. Tran- yeah, it was metaphorical. Mm-hmm. The younger one was gone, and she's now a new person. I'm afraid it will only get worse. Oh, my oh. God. What have you done? You saved their life. A little fight club going on, or is this oh, a snarf? A snarf. <laughs> Look at the detail in his eyes. Uh, Though these blades seem improperly pitched. You're wrong. Oh, Uh-oh. Echo? Here is Dinser. All right. Yes. Are you all right, Dad? Oh. I wanted to offer my assistance to the citizens of the Undercity. Huh. It seems I'm unwelcome. What is it? We're having the exact same day. That <laughs> looks like more than a sprain. You need medical attention. I have to get home. It isn't safe for me here. Is this another one of mom? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say this. Mom's uh, sampling. I want a backstory on her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's um, Counselor Talis, and I'm not sure. The Alorian general, Sonam Palak, used to find ways to meet... This bro oh, is sitting there he, in his yeah, birthday he suit. Yeah, he's, yeah. Uh, he's uh, nude. Squeeze, child. You won't break it. <laughs> Jeez. The council is the problem. Navigating your current crisis requires expertise you lack. Do you know what the success rate for senior academy inventors is? We're no strangers to failure. What makes this the city of progress is that we keep trying until we get it right. So thank you for your advice, Mrs. Medorda. But I have a city to run. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I fear you'll end up like General Palek, slaughtered with your eyes closed. Oh, and he's sweating. Oh, over the too. old sweat bead. It's like in Total Recall. We have greater concerns than a dip in profits. The sheriff betrayed us. We need better information. We need to act before anyone else gets killed. Perhaps Marcus was operating independently. What could anyone in the Undercity offer him that he didn't have up here? It's not what they offered him. It's what he had to lose. Storm in the council. Mm. Counselors, this is Vi. She was born in the Undercity, even though we failed her in... I think they can tell. She risked everything to show me what life is really like down there. People are starving, sick, ravaged by shimmer. One man leads these efforts, Silco. We've done investigations of Silco. They yielded no such level of organization. And who led these investigations? Marcus. Mm. (laughs) He believes the Undercity should be independent. He calls it the Nation of Zorn. What about these? Do you know who made them? Her name is Jinx. This Jinx has the gemstone. They have Shimmer. We have Hextech. What happened to you? Oh. They're still cleaning the blood off the bridge. When do we say enough is enough? Jace, you don't know war. I do. It must be our last resort. There may be a diplomatic solution. She's right. Glad to see she's not her mother yet. Yeah. <laughs> what? You want to negotiate with him? It may be the only way to avoid further bloodshed. This is insane. Did you learn nothing? You can't talk to him. He hates you. Everything you stand for. Enforcers, please escort them out. I remember where your fancy damn door is. (laughs) It's hard for me to take anybody serious who's got like a puffy neck truffle shirt on. Back where I came from? Seems like that's what everyone up here wants. I can fix this. You can't. This is how things are. Are we going to get the yep. kiss in the rain? We'll make a new plan. We have to try. We tried, okay? It wasn't enough. Top side and bottom, oil and water. That's all there is. Oil and water. Do yourself a favor, Cupcake. Go back to that big, shiny house of yours and just forget me, Okay. I guess I was wrong. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, he's dropping it. Whoa, oh, look, look at, at his, his foot. foot. Man. Okay, what's the other half of his face going to look like? We're going to get the run for us run. <laughs> oh, he's still hobbling. He's got to get used to it a little. Look at that. Look at how smooth he runs, too. Yeah. Got it to work. Andy's controlling it. Yep. 
working on a private project for a couple of weeks now. Oh, she's going to walk oh, in. look at his leg. I've been working on this for a year now. This guy's going to walk in. We're going to catch him using it. Get out. Get out. What are you doing? Oh, no. Oh. Power up. It's going to happen. Oh, he's going to break. No. Whoa. Oh, because she's vaporized her. What the hell? What the hell just happened? Yeah. Oh, dude, she's vaporized. Yeah. Whoa, look at the hex tech. That changed. Oh, that's not the same. Making Conan's sword? Nope, never mind. <laughs> What in the Voltron are we looking at? You want to make Silco pay for what he's done? I could have you arrested. You guys really like to bandy that threat around. You ever been to Stillwater? No. I want to make Silco pay. I want in. There is no in. You heard the council. Fuck the council. <laughs> okay. You're a victim. Oh, yeah. she's putting on the dukes. Putting them on. Oh yeah! And so people notice you what when you raise your hand in the Thanos courtroom. Is that? <laughs> Take out his manufacturing facilities. Hit him hard and fast before he can react. So, we got a deal, pretty boy. <laughs> <laughs> Runaway train! Whoa! Whoa. Look at that hammer! <laughs> it's like the one Ronan has in Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, they're going to get the alarm. Damn. Self-destruct? No. Oh, no. Oh, they're going to activate him. Oh, no. What Look the hell guys. just happened? Can we get someone to protect Jace, please? Wow. Oh, this is real not good. Oh, right, Jace. let's look, Jace. See if that hammer right. can hey. do anything. Magic versus Shimmer. Here lat, we go. Lat pull downs for the longest time. Let's see if that's been working. Oh, oh someone's got her by. dukes. Yeah. Oh! Oh, do you see it? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> back to back. Oh, Holy cool. shit. I want to see what that hammer does. Why is this animation so badass? <laughs> Feels like a camera shot, you know? Oh! oh. Look, oh. crushing it. Look at him. Oh, oh he got the ear. Oh. Oh. oh, shattered leg. Now he's just going to have a cool face scar. Break it. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Loading up the big one. Maxing oh, it out, red line in it. Oh, oh what's that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, you, what were you Are waiting you for? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Should have hit that right away. Oh, what the hell? This is so <laughs> badass. Oh, no. oh, he's seeing who's inside. Oh. War's not pretty, Jace. Oh. Are they all going to be kids? Silco put kids in those suits, didn't he? Yeah, I could see that. Be well, they could have. They might not have been one of them in the suits. That could have been one of the workers. Mm -hmm. Remember, there was a bunch of workers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the little kid hit the red button. kid hit the button, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's going to affect Jace pretty hard. It's all circling back to what Mel's mom said, mm -hmm. right? Yep. The 
We made an example. What is going on? Everybody saw. It's exactly all, all kids. And it is all kids. Yep. Oh, this is Jinx. Has to be Jinx. I think it's Caitlyn. No, I think it's Caitlyn. I think it's Caitlyn. Uh, it could be Caitlyn. The blue yeah, hair. Jinx's hair. hair is a lot longer. Yeah, the fancy shower. Ooh. Hey, what was that? Oh, from her oh, leg. Yeah, from right. leg. Dad was Caitlin. pulling the okay. shrapnel out. You getting those? Um, yeah, I think uh, someone was there. Somebody yep. was there. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's like any good horror movie. Left the note in the shower glass. Oh, oh. she's got the eye. Oh. Come on. See, she had the uh, the Silco eye going on. Ah, there. You sons of-, <laughs> of course they did. Of course. Well, that was awesome. Of course. Well, that was awesome. That was, wow, a good that was one. so fast. That just cranked by, guys. That was, that was forty minutes. <laughs> what an episode! <laughs> that was man. That, that was forty. I, see, now oh. I thought we had lost Jinx for sure, and mm-hmm. that she was done. But man, able to bring her back, and I don't think, uh, oh, I don't think they're ready for the new and improved Jinx because she no. was looking pretty ominous sitting back there. No. Uh, you know, what a brilliant yet diabolical move by Silco to essentially have your facilities where you make your most powerful mm-hmm. weapon have it run by children so that if the mercenaries or the people from the you know from the, the government come in there to wreck it, that's what the people of the Undercity are going to see, and it's going to fortify them even more uh, with Silco and against Topside. So what a just completely diabolical asshole move, but effective and it totally worked out in his favor jay saw what war really means and what really happens it's not uh as much as it was cool seeing him and vi you know just kicking ass on the on the random robots once you find out who's inside it's a different story so nonetheless the that fight scene and the animation and the music that went into it was incredible another banger of an episode i am just floored because we got to see we got to see someone ingest, like, take some shimmer and save save uh, Jinx's life. Yeah, the other one that it repaired his leg. I mean, mm-hmm. granted, then he grabbed that orb that they've been studying f- since what the first episode, really. Yeah, I think so. And took out Sky. Was yeah. her name yeah, that just, came in? Just vaporized disintegrated her. Yeah. And now he has <laughs> to live with that. And then you see that how evil Silco really is by having kids doing all his work. You know, and yet that was horrible for that to happen, but maybe he needed that to happen so that way he can really make a change because that's how bad it is there in the understudy that they're having the kids do the mining of this stuff and making the shimmer that then everyone all gets hooked on in the undercity. So it's like a real, real fun one down there. And now we're left with this. What is Jinx going to do to Caitlyn? She just showed up. Is she attacking her? Is she asking her questions? What is she going to do, especially then for, for uh, oh, God, I can't even see right now. Well, I think it's Vi, all, Vi yeah. to come and save the day, or is she going to try and get her sister? It'll right. be interesting to see if she can control the shimmer. Yeah, they packed a lot, and I mean a lot, into this episode. Um, I think Answer really hit the Zero nail. Zero fat again. I think Answer really hit the nail on the head with Jace. Um, coming into this big battle, you've got the gloves. I've got the, you know, these this giant hammer. And uh, at the end of this big battle, where they felt like they had won, there was nothing but guilt. You see a mm-hmm. bunch of kids, and Mason mm-hmm. Quinn had really, um, you know, really laid out, you know, his thoughts well, and saying, "Look, Silco did something very effective, yet really, really, just completely void of any moral anything, even for." the underworld uh you take a bunch of those kids and you put them in that situation look you you think the people of the underworld would stand up and say something but it's such a mess down there that it's um you know it's a game of you know mind play and morals with the people of um you know of uh, of the the city you know and there's that theme like it's easy to sit there and and you know and and make those decisions and and tell you know do this do that but once you have to go see it yourself it completely changes things but uh Mm -hmm. Unless Jace gets everybody else from the council to come down to the uh, the underworld and see what's happening, who knows if he's going to get that support? An interesting alliance with Jace and Vi, um, you know, definitely not a, a duo that you ever would have expected to go to battle together, but something that had to happen in order for Jace to really see what was going on. 
Um, also, how powerful the shimmer is down yeah. there. You know, how bad people are hooked down. And I mean, you have basically super soldiers just all hopped up on shimmer just, just how much and, of a stranglehold it has yeah on the whole and they had yeah. and it was interesting everybody's getting like these small injections injections and these guys had it in the helmet just constant like breathing. they were like yeah. breathing or whatever you know um a gas version. Made me think of bane so that was interesting we saw um it was very interesting what happened with victor because from what i understand his leg was you know his illness had caused issues with it not functioning properly and now it looks mechanical yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, which I don't really understand how that happened, you know, from our other, you know, experiences so far with Shimmer. It seemed like it was, you know, some super like drug or whatever, but it seemed to have an actual physical mechanical effect on, on, on Victor. Um, wild that, um, you know, Sky wasn't able to tolerate it. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. You know, but um, she got the effect, you know, everything we, when they were testing the Hextech technology, it was... we. In previous episodes, they kept going back to it was too powerful. It, it, it yep. took out everything. It killed everything. It killed everything. Mm-hmm. Well, what if you mixed shimmer with that? Well, obviously, she didn't have any shimmer running through yep. her veins. So not only and her blood, but she was holding on to the orb. Right, she was right. But if you, I mean, if but if you look at how powerful helps. that shimmer must be, that he survived it and it made him more powerful, but mm-hmm. it completely evaporated her. I mean, there's just so much going on in this episode. Uh, the the intro was very powerful with just showing how savage the mom was and uh, interesting character, the mom coming in, just like in this complete alpha role. Yep. Um, so that was interesting. It's just, I, look, I guess I just never imagined an animated series to be this like dramatic and this dynamic with the storyline. You know, we've watched some good animated series, obviously very lighthearted, but very less than heavy. Avatar The Last Airbender, which I absolutely love. We watch Invincible, which was like your <laughs> you know, dark superhero story yep. with uh, all kinds of twists. But this just has such a different feel, uh, and it's it's so captivating and nothing I would have ever imagined from an animated series. Yeah, you know, I'm happy. I'll start off with I'm happy to see Echo still alive because yep. I was really concerned the way that they had that shot at the end of the last one oh, and then the way they done. shot this one. I just, looked like he was just pretty much done. A sprained ankle. And then uh, <laughs> good to see that Jinx because, they, again, they played it with, you know, the hand just mm-hmm. being super limp. Again, can't blame us for being like, oh, shit, she's done. Because they did a good tease there. Mm -hmm. Um, So I am concerned now that Jinx has (laughs) the shimmer in her. I don't even know what to think was going to go through her mind now. Yeah, I mean, mentally, what's going to do? Yeah, because she she was already off the rails. Yeah, and it's like (laughs) during the reaction, I don't know if it's on the YouTube cut or not, but... uh, we did say that she's not a lost cause. I no. mean, it's, she never even got support to, you know, fix the inner demons or the mental illness that she does carry. So, but with Vi, I feel like she could kind of come back to a middle. Mm. But, you know, she needs someone to talk yeah. to about this. Anyway, that's a whole different thing. Um, <laughs> the, yeah, but- I, and I want to know who else out there is interested in this. I want a backstory. Give me six episodes of Ambessa. She was... <laughs> And to me, it stole the show here in episode seven. Mm. We don't get to see, I don't get to see female roles like that at all, uh, where she's just a, basically an alpha. Yeah. Uh, Jack to the gills, even though she looks like oh. she's in her you 70s. Think? I, I, yeah, I, I don't, older, I'm just yeah. throwing a number out there. I don't even know if that's her age. But old enough <laughs> to where she is still... A just badass. A badass and still rocking and rolling. Like she's in a in a band. And and completely you know, ruthless. An eighties rock band. Yep. And complete yes, completely ruthless, which Savage. I find very fascinating mm-hmm. considering how uh Mel is. Mel yeah. is the complete opposite, which you know, that could be a, a totally uh, natural for her to be, you know, mom savage. Well, I don't want to be a savage's mom, especially after what we saw yep. in the beginning. Uh Jason Vi, I would not have even I I saw Jace more as of like the brain up in the yeah. You never thought he in the get tower down there kind too. of thing. Yeah, I, I didn't, didn't expect dirty. him to go. I did not think he was gonna. He would be down there. Yeah, I didn't expect him to go and Man. rock and roll fight in there. People. But it was great to see him and Vi because that's a perfect team. What else do you need besides those two? Now he has his magic hammer thing. Bat hammer thing, and then you got Vi with yeah. the uh, gauntlet. So that's perfect. Um, the end there with Caitlyn and Jinx. Oh, I don't think anything bad's going to happen to Caitlyn. <laughs> a, a fight could happen. I think Jinx is going to kind of send a message. I don't think it's going to 
end Caitlin's life, though. I mean, I could oh, be wrong, hopefully. but I just don't see it yet. Yeah, I mean, it could go one of two ways. Either Jinx goes back to being powder because she does indeed get rebuilt and maybe she's a little more even keel, uh, or completely not at all and caitlin's in a world of trouble uh the thing with uh, oh, there's with the mom and the two kind of differences in how they choose to rule it's like the, the, the classic idea of are you going to rule with an absolute iron fist and fear and keep everybody intimidated uh and that's how you're going to run your nation for lack of a better word or are you going to give them the freedom and the, you know the ability to make mistakes do things on their own be there to help using diplomatic reasons to solve it. You know, it's it's a very dicey thing, you know, because if you do choose to rule by fear and intimidation, you can only do that for so long. They're Eventually, ma- they're going to fight back on So you. they are, are they are making a second season, correct? Yep. I'm just worried it's going to end with we don't know what Jinx is going to do at the end of the uh, next I episode. Know, I, so. I got I to gotta be honest, guys. Oh, uh, between, the, just, between the drawing in the mirror and the purple eye, I don't think she seems like she's in a real stable state right now, especially considering like she was already unstable. Yeah. How much shimmer dude gave her? So <laughs> yeah. the idea that oh maybe it could maybe they could work something out. Like, yeah, but she was but, there the whole time. Uh, if she was just gonna eighty six her, she would have done it already. And let's not forget Victor. Yeah. There's gonna be some kind of full circle there yeah. because I can't yeah. imagine they're showing us all these little tidbits of Victor without giving us a full show yet. Obviously, oh, those the right. next one's the last one. Bastards. I got to imagine little teases with them. Uh, yeah. I got to imagine that. <laughs> Can't believe be, we're down to one more. I got to imagine there's going to be some kind of tie-in now with Jinx and Victor somehow, some way. Yeah. Prediction. Well, all right. On the next one is going to be the goal, the season finale of season one, which we cannot wait for. So for Diamond Dave, Apple and Oak, this is Mason Quinn. And I am, of course, the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals. What an open right away. Oh, starting yeah. with what Jason's Goodness. saying. Yeah, everybody's gung ho until they see what it causes. Look at that. How much purple is behind there with the, the amount of shimmer that must yeah. be in that thing. Gotta destroy it. Do we just leave him here? You've always been a part of this. You just never had to look it in the eye. Uh, mm-hmm. Hundreds more where he came from, thanks to Silco and thanks to people like you who stuck their heads in the dirt. Ooh. So true, this though. This is over. Not for me. Nothing is over. Nothing is over! <laughs> you don't just turn it off! Oh, I don't think that's gonna happen. You see a it? battle here? Make me. Oh. <laughs> I can't let you leave with them. Then I guess you're gonna need to kill another trencher. Let's pump oh. the brakes. Who's gonna step in and be the voice of reason? Dude, I was actually. Really She's keeping nervous. the giant gloves? <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> Nice. Do they need a recharge, though? Yeah. Just give Just it a switch. Charge. It. Look at how it. much so shimmer. Yep. Oh, yeah. she you. Well, she needs to Thank get out of there so she doesn't breathe it in. Instead of some petty personal dispute, I so often occurs here. You're one to talk about sacrificing for the cause. Where is Jinx anyhow? Help her with the body. Ugh. Huh? Jeez, oh, he's oh, going to be now. traumatized now. Oh, and he's going to read some notes. She was very fond of him. Yeah. I know this will probably never see the light of day, but watching how you work so tirelessly to make the world a better place, I couldn't forgive myself if I didn't try. Oh, no. Does he have the, she have the solution? You hear the noise that hand is making? Yeah, it's, like, it's uh, almost uh, like he, it, it's not working as well, and he's having to, like, drag it. What is that going to do? It's like Anything? it's alive, and it knows. Oh, yeah, this is crazy. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. and wine is bold by comparison. <laughs> he's just rubbing her feet. <laughs> Mel. Would you like Whoa. Oh. Better yet, march back to your ship and get the hell out of my city. Ugh. Get hold of yourself. I taught you better. Oh, what was he that? Bugs. Even animated, I don't like it. <laughs> the man who killed your brother doesn't believe the score is settled, and his resources exceed ours. If there is a chance Hextech can be weaponized, we must and have it. And there it is. Mm-hmm. 
I can't believe you'd start a war just to cover your ass. I would set the world ablaze to protect our family. I stopped being Man, part of this family the moment no. you cast me out. Stop being no. part of the family. <laughs> can't stop being part of family. Why did you do it? Well, she wants. Because you weakened me. Oh. Yeah. Endure the look in your eyes whenever I made the decisions, the necessary decisions to keep us safe. She is <laughs> so jacked. <laughs> so I went to the gym and just kept doing arm curls. I'm sorry. How do you even explain that one to people? Oh, sorry. I don't know. Daughter got vaporized. Mm -hmm. What is he thinking about jumping? Yeah, he's thinking oh, about no. it. No, no, don't do Just it, Just like dude. a few episodes ago. Am yeah. I interrupting? Yep, and Jay stopped him again. Remember the Distinguished Innovators competition? See Victor trying to hide it. You have to destroy it. I know. The hex core. I, I can't do it. You have to. Please. Bring it up to Mount Doom. What about your disease? Without the hex core. <coughs> I don't think he cares anymore because he sees what happened to him and what he just did to Sky mm -hmm. with it. We lost ourselves, lost our dream in the pursuit of great. We failed to do good. But the whole reason Mel's mom is there is, is for the hex tech. I'm busy. No boy. The attitude, the instinct, the eye, the whole package you were always. Two steps ahead, but times lapped you, old man. <laughs> Does he take it or? You screwed up, Silco. You're too young to remember what the Undercity was before it became an enterprise. You know what bore us through those times? Loyalty. Brothers and sisters back to back against whatever. Oh. Now I'm forced to share the air with. You. Today is the day you die, Silco. No. That's a risk I've known all my life, but I still believe in your heart. <gasps> Wasn't Silco. Nope. Did he? They're gonna do the slide? Yep. Yep. Oh, and right through his jaw thing. Yep. Weren't expecting that, I were you? had your son killed for this, though I suppose we're ahead on oh. that. Oh. Get out. I don't think Silco knew what she was going to do nope. when she was, he was behind just, him. He was hoping that he'd be on her side with the loyalty. Yep. He knew they were collaborating against him. Oh, he's meeting with them face to face. Perfect place for an ambush. And you without your hammer. I was reminded recently of what brought us together in the first place. This city has a short memory. Progress. Far be it for me to stand in the way. So you're going to give him a little taste of the shimmer? Something. Is that the dollar amount he wants, or...? Free trade routes, blanket amnesty, unrestricted access to the Hexgate sovereignty. You really think you're in a position to demand all this? I give you credit for your stunt, but the big display followed by a request for parlay. You're tipping your hand. Today I got a glimpse of what war between us might look like. Your people wouldn't stand a chance. Council couldn't care less. I'm trying to save you from annihilation. Well, well. Not the fresh-faced Academy pledge, I. You want peace. This is the price. You'll discontinue the production of Shimmer. Half there already. Yeah. Mm. And I need Jinx. She has to pay for what she's done. Oh. oh. She was working for me. Believe me. If I had it my way, it'd be you rotting in Stillwater. But we can't make a deal with a snake and cut off its head. We both have our shitty parts to play. Oh. Give me Jinx, and I'll give you your nation of Zone. Wow. He's, he's given up a he lot is to willing Silco. willing to make a deal with this guy? Oh, uh, that's not going to... The council's never going to go for No, this. not giving no Silco way. all that power. Ah! Ah! Heim Heimerdinger. <laughs> Echo. Oh, he's bringing him back. Okay, cool. Maybe. Astonishing. Yep. That's fun. How were you able to accomplish so much so quickly? I don't waste time. It's not enough to give people what they need to survive. You have to give them what they need to live. Mm -hmm. 
It's like Echo's the only one doing it right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All we ever wanted. The boy didn't even haggle. Commander. What do I lose but problems? Oh, it all makes sense now, brother. Whoa. Yeah. Is there anything so undoing as a daughter? <gasps> oh, there she is. Oh, Look at those eyes. Oh, Jinx is going to run and take her out first. God, they're all sitting there. He said he's discontinuing Shimmer. They're all using it. Mm-hmm. Jinx is going to take out this whole place, dude. After hearing that, oh. she walked right mm -hmm. in, dude. This is going to be a... Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's Vi. Oh, oh Vi is going to rock everyone out. Hey, our intro. It's the intro. Yep. Everyone out. Are we finally going to get the showdown? No, I think that's... He's got that's a little knife. A little toad stabber. What are you going to do with that? Oh, she's, she's about to power up. Bit. Yep. Here we go. Like the Western music yeah. got going here. Okay, this is incredible. Oh, <laughs> just tossed her. Good. She's escaped everything. I don't uh, expect it here. Yep. Oh, I took Ooh, everything out. And... Nice. Quick shot. Oh, Quick she's going to grab the rail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pool table. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. whoa, whoa. We're ready for that. It's like a whip and a sword. It is. Oh, it doesn't bust up the gloves, though. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, oh, Vi. Oh, she's getting worked. That glove yeah. is toast. Yeah, but she's going to run out of shimmer. Uh, oh, there it goes. Well, your guard needs work. Uh, we are I, getting something. We yes! are getting Vander. I wish I could say it gets easier, kiddo. But I'll be lying. What I can say is, she still needs you. They all do. She just power up like yeah. that. Uh, Get up, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Mickey loves you. <laughs> oh. There's a tooth. That's my girl. Spit out a yeah. tooth. Yep. Yeah. Redlining. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, they're fighting in the That's dark That's cool, in the dark. I don't know how Vi survives this man with one glove. Look oh, at that! What? Oh, I don't think she—I don't think she knew that. No, <laughs> uh, nope. You get a little force field out of it. Oh! 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 Total fatality. Arm came right off. Ooh. That'll do it. Okay. Every time. No more escaping death here. Oh. Bravo, sis. Oh. 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 Right to the back of the what? head. She's probably got Caitlyn. They're yep. right not to trust us. You're walking a fine line, Jace. With respect, I don't give a shit what you <laughs> <laughs> With respect, Kaiser. With respect. Jace has brokered a peace with Silco mm. in exchange for the Undercity's independence. Oh, here we go. It's not going over well. Not at all. Oh, here we go, Jinx. That's what she's up to. Be what they fear, Jinx. Like everything was the same as when Bander left him. But he didn't make Jinx. You did. You did. Oh. Mm -hmm. I never meant to leave you. You never left. Shadows in the streets, prickles on the back of my neck, pushing me, picking me up. When all the colors were black, you're the reason I'm still alive. Is that winding down to something? Seems like it. Are we still sisters? Nothing is ever going to change that. I always knew you'd come back. What's going on? Oh, she got... Caitlin. Yeah. Wow. 
Well, there's Silco. Well, she wasted no time. He took everything from us. Right here, he stabbed Vander in the back. Just like he planned to with me. All the time saying you abandoned me when he knew the truth. Mm -hmm. That's true. He, mm -hmm. he lied. Yep. We're missing someone. No, nope, here's Caitlin. Is she going to make Vi make a choice? You think? Oh, look okay. at... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that God. Hat? It's not a head. That'd be too much. I paid your girlfriend to visit this Oh, my morning. God. It's like seven. I haven't seen seven, so don't spoil it. Sorry. Sheesh. I'm not that crazy. Yeah. Cupcake. Oh, <laughs> wow. There she is. Oh, she's... <laughs> Leave her out of this. Now, where should I? This is intense. We'll leave and never come back. Where would we go? No, no, no. She's not saying that. Oh, no. oh boy. Yep. We'll put this behind us. You'll never have to see him again, Powder. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? Her name is Jinx. You'll be with her a day before she realizes you aren't that girl and turns her back on you. I'm not lying. I'm on your side. I promise. <laughs> oh. oh. Mm, this isn't good. Not, not stable. The top side has offered me everything. Glass is going to come into play. No, my daughter. I'll never forsake you. Just trying to isolate her from everyone. Mm -hmm. Nice. Please. <laughs> This is intense. You can't take out her sister. Drop the gun. Caitlin's a hell of a shot. Yeah, yeah that was that. definitely a warning. Yep. Wait. She's my sister. Hi. She's too far gone. <laughs> so it's season four? Mm-hmm. Walking Dead? Four by eight, actually. No. She put it way too close to him. Yeah. To him, yeah. Whoa! Oh, no. You see, now finish it. Here's the homage. Look at that. That was not cool. What the, what the hell just happened? She took out the tops of all the chairs. Hopefully they ducked. Oh, he gone. Well, he's going to be gone. Oh, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. What have you given you to them? <laughs> I do believe that, by the way. Yeah. yeah. So what happens with Jace's deal? Well, that's gone. Well, now that Silco's gone, uh, somebody Silco's worse is going to take over. The girl with the left arm is gone. The guy with the gold jaw is gone. Yeah. We got the angry mom left over. It yeah, seems well. like she was kind of next in line, maybe. I'm thinking Echo is the guy you need to work with. It's okay. We'll be okay. Oh boy. Oh, she is she gonna so choose? Sure. She's gonna take over the underworld. Mm -hmm. Here's our season two. No. Yep. Sitting on the throne. I thought maybe you could love me like you used to, even though I'm different. But you changed too. Here's to the new us. Ripped out all my part. Hey, can we at least confirm that Caitlin's good to go? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Just waking up. The way they had uh, that shot. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Oh, is she going to... she going to lead an assault on the top Whoa, side? What is Whoa. she doing? She's no, gonna... no, no. Mel's in there, dude. She's going to blow everything up. 
Mel's in there. Everybody's in there. What could have been? I support Councillor Talis's proposal for peace. They were going to do it. They were. They were going to do it. Well, it doesn't matter. Silco's gone. Oh. oh. She did make it. Again? I am your ghost. You know what this means? We're getting Ambessa. Yeah, she's she's going to take she over. She has made it a point that she will do anything to protect the family. Yep. At all Total costs. Total revenge. That's our season yep, two. She takes out Mel here. I was meant to be yours. Is she going to see it happen? Oh, it's going to the moon. Okay. I totally thought she was going after the council. I thought it was after the council, folks. I no. know you're going to. I know some of us are going to. Well, I think it is. There's Caitlin wasn't crying for no reason. They're all done. Oh, my goodness. That's it. That better not be a roll credit. That is, oh, my that is the end. <laughs> Unreal. The entire council is done. There is nobody left. Guys, what a finale to an amazing show. I had no idea they were going to go that direction. Everything was going to work out. Well, sort of. I mean, there was no Silco for Jace to make a deal with. Really, nobody for him to make a deal with. And Jinx just blew it all up. Oh. Everything. The entire council. Jace. Mel. Everybody. They're all gone. I... What's well, even going to happen? Pump the all gone breaks, yeah, 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 right? Because yeah. if this show has shown us anything. Did you see that missile? It was a shark. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Fair point. But it was a shark. We had, what did we always we say during The Walking Dead? If you didn't and see it, 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 it didn't, didn't happen. Didn't happen. <laughs> That's true. So let's hold on to a little bit of hope. <laughs> let's even though it just not look bit good. Of it was a shark. No. Like, not the whole that there was a bunch of green who's in it. No, so, I mean, it unbelievable with, with Jinx and Vi at the end, they're making her uh. choose and oh silco you worm just getting into her head if oh man if they never would have took that muzzle off them it might have actually worked they might have actually come together but guys this show has been absolutely dynamite no pun intended and i just i don't know how long we have to wait until season two starts up but gonna definitely be looking forward to all of you in the comments yeah, let us with know. your theories and your predictions and everything else again this series was absolutely incredible everything from the animation to the mm. music to the story was just top notch and apparently you all said the game that it's based on is garbage and we shouldn't waste our time oh, so, well, so legend of, for that legend, legend of legends or something some like that did, yeah, some legends. Did. Uh, it was almost every comment if I'm honest no, but, it, well, it wasn't uh, every comment it was a, but, it was so a that, lot that, of fun taking this journey with all of you answer your thoughts oh I'm just you know, most of the times when we watch the TV shows, we get to go right into the next season, but not this one. No. We have to wait. You know, just let us know what you've heard or if, there, if the news is out there of when it's coming out. Season two. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is it? Keep going. I know. Anytime it's soon. soon. Well, wait a Diamond Dave is going to double check it out. But just the way that they did this, the way they ended it with... Where it's basically be Jinx now. She's I don't think Powder's in there anymore, or she is. She's buried. Yeah, I think deep. it's all Jinx. And then she just presumably uh, won't release him. Okay, and uh, presumably you know she took out the whole council. So now where do you go from there? Who's who's in charge? More than likely, what's uh, left for the her to mom? Rule? Yeah, well she's gonna rule the underworld, yeah. and but, that's about their undercity. Yeah. I'm sorry, and then what else on top of that? I have no idea. Because the mom's from a completely different country, so to speak. That would be like if you know that happened in the U.S. You're yeah. not gonna have like Justin Trudeau come in yeah, and, and true. take over. You true. know, it's a completely you different could, place. Yeah. But she said revenge. Uh, it, she would never she let anything would, happen. Yeah, before. obviously, and that's it. Uh, well. She loves her family and would yep. defend her to family. So maybe she's going to come back uh, to help out Mel, uh, you know, the wife of Mel. And then what is Herman Dinger doing now? What is, I mean, uh, Victor Echo. is still out, you know, so we have no idea what's going on. And yeah. God, it was a great first season, though. And, and just real quick, Oak, before you start, Echo was the one who had it all figured out 
seemingly from what we saw. Yep. Everybody looked to be pretty happy there, so I think he's the guy we should look to. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting. So we see the council taken out, but we, look, we I don't think we know the dynamics of the rest of the top side, right? Yeah. So are there other people who are going to step in and be the new council members? Uh, are there, you know, backups per se i mean you you used to Mm -hmm. look she might take out the council but that doesn't mean there's other people who can't step forward to govern them of course she sets herself up as being pretty dangerous she's got she's got the weapon remember they kept talking about the weapons the weapons the weapons she's got some giant shark gun with X-Tech gem in it or whatever we're talking about. Yeah, just everything. I mean, yeah. who can... Who a can, nice cocktail of things. Who can stop her if she has that is the big question. Like, who who can stop her? I don't... I, I guess I don't know that weapon. I don't think that's a one-time shot, you know? Yeah, because the gauntlets were powered sure. by X-Tech. And yeah, they working, so, so it's going to be... I'm sure re- she can build another one. It's going to be so interesting. <laughs> I mean, they set us up. So we still, of course, have... Vi and Caitlin down there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, now we also have the mother who is as badass as it gets. We also have Echo and the rest of the, the I don't want to say the good, well, I think it's fair to say the good side of the underworld, mm-hmm. right? So there's a, a huge, like, you know, just question mark for me as to who's taking over what. I mean, is this setting us up for Jinx to take over everything or just kind of slip into Silco's spot? You know? I think, and, I think and, that. I mean, we had Silco with ruling with uh, the Shimmer, which made him very powerful through through that regard. But it looks like Jinx now, she's got this mm. this crazy weapon. So is she going to rule with an iron fist and yeah. through, you know, through fear and violence like... Um, I just, I just don't know. It's uh, a, a hell of a cliffhanger. I wouldn't have expected anything mm-hmm. less, but it's so many questions, and in not the most usual fashion for bad medicine, we have to wait. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's with this wait what's, stuff? What's, what's with this wait stuff? We don't normally <laughs> wait. Stuff. Although we have set ourselves up with a couple of the other shows doing newer stuff. Yeah. We're waiting for whatever's next for Avatar. We're waiting for whatever's next for Invincible. Waiting for... Now, uh, the boys, Kane, the boys. Well, that's we're working on that. So there's there's so much that uh, that we're looking forward to. But th- this entire series, um, you know, really captivated me. I think right away with the the art and the animation. And in the earlier episodes, I was you know like the broken record. Like I can't believe it didn't look like normal animation. It looked like drawings in motion. Yep. I mean, it was just brilliant the way they did it. Um, you guys were great in the comments, kind of helping us out with um, you know some ins and outs and some details of how they were able to pull that off and make this visually. This was like nothing else. Uh, I don't. I, really I don't good. even want to say nothing else that I've ever seen because I just don't think anything else has been done like this prior to this. It's, anyway. it's levels. I mean, if you take like the Pixar movies and all that, it's yeah, just yeah, all it's different just, levels. It's, yeah. different it's way, created in its, its own way. It has its own, uh, own niche. It just if you Teenage like Mutant Ninja Turtles. Or niche or however it, to me, it yeah. looked like very uh, advanced drawings come to life, if that makes sense, different from animation. But in any regard, so we had a, a visually an incredible uh, experience in that regard, but also just a really solid story of good and evil and all the gray area in between. I mean, that's really the story here. It's not just this clear cut, here's the good guys, here's the bad guys. There's so much going on in between and just a really compelling story. Uh, I could not be more impressed with how this entire season played out, and and based off a video game, like what? Yeah. That wasn't very how good. Did they take something <laughs> like a video game into an RPG? A compelling. Well, story. The Last of Us certainly did their homework. Yeah, on yeah, it. yeah they, they, they. Well, said this came out before Last yeah. of Us. So. No, but I'm just but, yeah. saying in terms of taking something yes. from a video game and making it work, where it's failed so many times before. Yeah. There's been a couple Wait, that, that have pulled it off. Based the NFL off of Madden. Well, in fairness, it, it, a lot of animation will probably hit, most likely, versus the live action. I think live, that's yeah, where that's the true, live action is, gets yeah. kind of, you know... A little tough. It's to show very rough. There's yeah. a rough track out there, which you all know. Uh, I want to say first, uh, wrong on Victor, because early episodes, we were, well, at least I was saying, it looks like he has the makings of doing some kind of flip-flop villainous kind of things. Nope. Wrong. Obviously, you guys saw me not think that as we went on. Uh, I was really wrong about Mel this entire time. 
Yeah. We saw the white. Yeah. We saw her. We finally got the those picture two painted clear last in those last episodes. two of what her true motivations were. And I've been caught in here, you know, ah, oh, she's she's got something going on and Using it's not Chase. good. <laughs> yeah. So I thought she was, you know, manipulating Chase or Chase and whatnot, but he was really wrong about her character. So apologies on that. Uh, I want to. You guys did a great job on highlighting. I want to highlight real quick here the insight to Jinx's mind there towards the end with, you know, boom, boom, boom. And uh, Vi was yelling, Silka was yelling, you know, everything that was All going on in her head of the the voices, the the pictures. That was actually pretty incredible to see of some of the inside torment that she was going through, is going through, and has been going through even. You know, when she was powder and little. Uh, and they, they've they done a pretty good job so far throughout the series of showing, you know, those inside, what's inside her head or what's going on inside her head. So, yeah, it, it puts a nice visualization to a, 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 a mental psychic uh, or trauma or uh, issue that she's having. It yeah. puts a picture to it. Yeah, and I thought they did a pretty good job of that because, yeah, we do get in live action here and there. But uh, the way, again, we always say, and you know, animation has the freedom to do whatever. I thought it was a great job of the art behind it as well. Uh, just incredible. I will say, I don't like the chances of the council. <laughs> but? Yeah. But... You never know. They don't. You don't just show us Mel's armor just lighting up and her doing the quick little turnaround without probably one or yeah. two surviving. Well, we, we don't maybe, know if she uh, has any superpowers yeah, or anything. Like maybe maybe that armor know. did something. Maybe oh, it sense danger. You know. That's a really good point. You just figure with the size of that weapon that when that's coming through that window, everybody's done. But maybe it takes out part of the council. Maybe something happens. Yeah, maybe she's maybe. able to save Jace. Maybe it has some kind of repulsion light, bubble light, around lights it. Lights up blue and dangerous near. Does that sound familiar? I, I do <laughs> think we're in my early, early, super early prediction is I think she's able to save Jace and herself at minimum here. I'll just say at least Jace. Yeah. And then we get to see... A full season two of Am Ambessa. I got to make sure I say her name right. She is a badass, and I want to see more. And we only got, we didn't even get to see any action out of her, dude. Yeah. All we no. just saw was how impressive she is to do anything <laughs> well, at we, will. Yeah. Well, we, we saw, saw how ruthless. Yeah, we did. Ruthless. Oh, we did. And so did Jace. But <laughs> oh, I was again, thinking about that. No. I, so I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Mel and Jace make it. Minimum, Jace makes it. And everyone they, you goes. Can't, yeah, you can't because lose Because you got to have that mother, mother's motivation now mm. for season two. Yeah. And they have did a really good setup of showing don't piss her off. Because I'm yeah. wondering if, if uh, she sacrificed herself for Jace. Yeah. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, yeah and, and what's interesting is I don't see this show taking the simple route of it's going to be Ambessa versus Jinx. I, I think that's way too like. It's going to be a lot them. of pieces. It's going to be a lot of different moving pieces. It's not going to be as simple as just a war between those two, uh, mm. for sure. So I want to get that out there that they're going to have a ton of layers on this for sure. Yeah. Well, don't forget we have uh, Echo. And Echo. And He's Echo. the only guy doing it right. Heimerdinger. We got Heimerdinger. 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 Yeah. So we've got the good side. Like, there's so much about the bad side of the underground with Silco and the craziness with Jinx and the Shimmer and the girl who lost her arm. I forget her name. But we have to remember that there's an entire, like, underworld that's just trying to they're not trying to survive. They're trying to live, live. As, 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 as Echo said. said. Yep. And th I think they want what's best for everybody. They don't want to stay down there. They want, you know, I, I think it would be in their best interest to try to partner with a compassionate version of the top side. And now that we Jace has been down there and he sees, he realizes, like, what it's like down there. He has been burying his head in the sand, as Vi had told him. You know, it's because the thing that we get from from Jace is the the recognition that change needs to be made. That's why he was trying to broker that deal. Where the rest of the council is just like, no, we need to rule the Undercity. So, if perhaps um, Powder Jinx has now taken out a majority of the council, there's the possibility that some sort of diplomatic solution that tries to, you know 
provide a better life for the people who are in the underworld. But I, I just don't know that we're going to get peace that quick. I think no, there's I, a lot of layers to this know, story that need to be told yet. Maybe uh, Heimerdinger can give Echo the power that he needs or the resources or the supplies the re that he needs to, to, say to, grow, supplies. to grow what he has there because clearly that's the way to go. He's got a good base and Heimerdinger can help him fulfill even more. Yeah. And let's not forget about Victor's findings. Victor still is holding, no one knows what he's gone through. Nope. Yeah. He's still holding that yeah. too. The, guy. the interesting thing with Victor is he going to because it looked like he was getting he's weak. regressing he was getting weak again yeah. at the end because he wasn't using the shimmer and now uh from what we've seen shimmer supplies are 86 so they're starting to yeah or they're at least yeah they're 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 going down um i mean i'm sure there's enough if he hoarded it for him to maintain yeah. what he wanted to maintain but does he anymore and so yeah that's a very really good point that uh that we hadn't touched on in the, in the rest of that discussion is what's going to happen with Victor and what role he's going to play and what happens next. Yeah, because he wanted to destroy the hex tech that they mm. had. Well, clearly, I don't think they can do that now. They're going to need it. Yeah, they're going to need all that. And does that does Victor's uh, God? I'm baffled for words here. Victor's uh, his buddy down in the underworld. There. Oh, the doctor. The doctor. Yeah. Like, what role is he going to play? Because he's not gone. Yeah. You know, there's still a lot of loose ends here that. I mean, you are. You know, now that we're caught up with you, we are definitely interested in all your oh, theories very, too. No spoilers yeah. from the game. Of no. Course, but. <laughs> oh, well, what is the? I don't know. Maybe we don't know. We don't know. How much, I don't know. We don't know if it's a hundred percent. I wonder if the game is gonna basically tell the story. Nah, from what I, two. from what the folks said in the comments, and correct me if I'm wrong, but the game has nothing to do with the show. It's essentially the characters, I think. Yeah. And the game Character is just game. like an open world. Yeah, it's a big the, RPG. Like, uh, battle yeah. type game. There's no yeah. okay. real stories or anything uh -huh. like that. At least Gosh. from what I've read from a few of the comments. So it's not like right. The Last of Us where it's like a scripted right. game there. that tells right. a story. Okay. Yeah. No, yep. not at all. All right. Wow. That was, that was <laughs> that a great was ending. Hold on real quick. Oh, yeah. quick? Okay. Folks, I know a lot of you said we should watch the making of it. I don't know if we'll do a reaction because it looked like there is <laughs> several 30-minute pieces. Uh, but at least give us some feedback on what you would like. Maybe somehow, some way with our scheduling for this, maybe we make some work. I'm not promising, no. but at least give us some feedback and we'll take it and digest uh, it and see what the we winking. can do. <laughs> All right, so that was a great wrap-up on the first season of Arcane. Amazing. Thank you, guys. Amazing. So for Diamond Dave, Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. Oh, I'm, of course, the answer. Awesome. Good night, pals. We'll catch you on season two.